One of the most highly anticipated features in Adobe After Effects 2023 was the ability to export H.264 MP4 files directly from After Effects without having to go through Adobe Media Encoder. Let's walk you through how to export your After Effects project to H.264 MP4 directly from After Effects. And I'll also show you how to make a preset so the software will default to this setting every single time. Let's dive into it. Okay, so I'm in After Effects. I'm gonna go to Edit, Templates, Output Module. And then this is gonna pop up with a few different settings. You could change your movie default, so every time you export something, it just defaults to a QuickTime file or an H.264 file, or you can make a custom setting, which we recommend. So up first, I'm gonna click on New, and then you're gonna see Format, the Video Output, and then Format Options. I'm gonna change my format to H.264. Under Format Options, I'm gonna click on that, and then another box is gonna pop up. So here, I'm gonna change Profile, you, it might be grayed out for you at first. So if it is, click on the check mark and I'm gonna change this from main to high. Then here under bitrate settings, I'm gonna change it from constant bitrate or CBR to variable bitrate or VBR. VBR tends to produce higher quality results and it's usually best for on-demand streaming. So lastly, we're gonna change our target bitrate to 10 megabits per second. So. We're gonna change this to VBR, and then we're gonna change this to 10 megabits per second. Hit OK. And then I'm gonna hit OK again. And then under settings name, I'm just gonna change this to something I could re remember or, and recognize. So now I could change my default to this preset. And then I'm gonna hit OK. So by creating this custom preset, you're saving yourself the hassle of going through and changing the settings every single time you export your project. If this is H.264 is what you use regularly, then it's gonna save you a lot of time. All right, so now let me show you. Let's get an animation ready for export in After Effects. But first, if you enjoy what you see, tap that like button. Once your animation is complete, we're gonna to go to the composition panel and select add to render queue. We're gonna have our render settings here. If I click on the little arrow here under output module, you could see that our presets pop up. Here, awesome H.264 codec. So I'm gonna click on that, and then you can change your file name, export. So here I could either render it inside After Effects or I could queue it in Adobe Media Encoder. But for here, we're just gonna click on render. There you have it. Now you could save a little bit more time on the technical stuff and focus more on the creative stuff. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.